All right, of all the different material classes, metals, polymers, ceramics, composites, in my opinion, it's tough to argue that any of them is developing more quickly and has more potential to shape the future than polymers. We find them everywhere. I mean, even in places where you wouldn't expect, like this aluminum can. Is it polymer? Check it out. We're gonna take this, and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand off the paint. Get in there. One down, two to go. That's two. Definitely don't want to open these right now. It's been a lot of shaking. One downside. Okay. Okay, now that we've removed all the paint off the outside and drank the beverage, now we're going to go ahead and take one of these skewers, right? We're going to put it through here so it holds it up. We're going to take one of these and put it inside a container. This will allow us to pour heavy duty drain cleaner onto them. That's gonna dissolve away the metal. Let's take a look. Something I did is I filled this partly full of water and I inserted this inside of it to make sure that the level comes up to where I want it to. And then I can take this out and the water level is marked. That way I know approximately how much of the drain cleaner I need to resolve, add to it so I doesn't have too much. All right. Now I've got three jars and they've all been marked so I can go ahead and pour in the drain cleaner to that level. Notice that I'm using long kitchen gloves and because I don't totally trust how old these purple ones are, I put some extra on, on just in case. You definitely don't want this stuff on you so eyeglasses, goggles, you know, be safe with this. Okay. There's three. Let's close this up. Now, before I put these in, the first thing you'll notice is that I've done them inside a secondary containment, this ice cream bucket, just in case things spill out a little bit. You don't want it all over your workspace, so a secondary containment is always a good idea. Now, this reaction might be a little bit uh, strong, so lower it really slowly and carefully. Don't go quickly. Okay, looks all right. Let's go to our next one. Let's do our third one. I'm already hearing fizzling. Here you can see the reactions. You can smell it, so we've got our door open just to get lots of ventilation. So you can see the reaction of the metal being dissolved away in this drain cleaner. So we're gonna let those chill and do their thing for a while, and we'll come back and check on them in a little while. Okay, about 45 minutes in, lots of gas evolution, right? As it dissolves the aluminum, it's generating lots of gas. This one's puffing little clouds. All right, so this has been running for a while and you can tell that we are now done. You can see this has eaten away the metal. And so it's time to stop the reaction by removing these and putting them into a water bath. And then I'm going to rinse them a few times carefully so that we don't break the liner. Okay, so we're gonna carefully put these up. Um, there's probably some uh, drain out inside of this, so we're gonna carefully try and pour it out back into this jar. It's quite warm. This process of dissolving the metal really heated these up quite a bit. There you have it. The pop can with the inner liner is the only thing that's left. So let's do that to the other ones as well. This one's been bubbling pretty violently the whole day. I'm gonna carefully try and pour everything into there. All right, and after all that effort, check it out. We end up with these pop cans where you can see that even the aluminum pop can actually one of the key factors inside of it is a polymer. You have soda pop which has phosphoric acid among other things 
that would actually dissolve the metal. It would corrode it over time. And so these pop cans, you can see that they actually line them with a polymer on the inside. Just a very thin layer of polymer is enough to form a protective barrier and prevent corrosion. So this is an example of where polymers show up even where you wouldn't expect them.